हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो लेक्चर फॉर टू डिस्कस द मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस फॉर चैप्टर नंबर फाइव कंबशन इन एस आई जी सो इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वेरियस मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस व्हिच इज टू बी आस्क फ्रिक्वेंटली इन द यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन एट द सेम टाइम वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस द एक्सप्लेनेशन बैंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन लेट स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट द नॉकिंग इन एस आई इंजिन गेट्स रिड्यूस द नॉकिंग इन एस आई इंजिन गेट रिड्यूस ऑप्शन आर बाय इंक्रीजिंग द कॉम्प्रेशन रेशियो बाय रिटार्डिंग द स्पार्क एडवांस बाय इंक्रीजिंग द इनलेट एयर टेम्परेचर एंड बाय इंक्रीजिंग द कूलिंग वाटर टेम्परेचर दीज आर द फोर ऑप्शन आर देयर सो आउट ऑफ दीज फोर ऑप्शन द सेकंड ऑप्शन by retarding the spark advance the knocking in si engine gets reduced getting so the knocking in si engine gets reduced by retarding the knock the by retarding the spark advance so explanation behind this that the advancing the spark if we advance the spark so what happens the burning gas is compressed getting when the spark is advanced the burning gas is compressed by the rising the piston and therefore both temperature and pressures are increased and thus the tendency to knock increases with advanced spark timings and decreases with retard spark timings getting so by increasing the spark advance what happens the piston that rising the piston the pressure on the piston as well as it will going to increase the temperature getting so by increasing the this temperature and pressure the tendency to knock is going to be increase so the answer or correct option is by retarding the spark advance the knocking tendency is reduce getting because by retarding the spark timing the peak pressure and further it also also peak pressure is going to be further down in the power stroke and thus the magnitude of this pressure is a lower magnitude of the pressure is to be lower Now second, with increasing compression ratio, flame speed options are increases, decreases, remains the same. None of the above. With increasing the compression ratio, the flame speed increases, decreases, remains same. None of the above. So the correct option is increases. So why increases? so higher compression ratio increases pressure and temperature of working mixture and it decreases the residual gases these favorable conditions reduce the ignition lag favorable condition means increase in the pressure and temperature this favorable condition reduces the ignition lag of the combustion hence less the ignition advance is needed hence the less the ignition advance needed and high pressure and temperature of the compressed mixture also speed up the second phase of combustion getting it also uh, speed up the second phase of combustion and therefore higher the compression ratio have higher flame speeds getting have higher flame speeds and let's discuss the third desirable characteristics of the combustion chamber for si engine desirable characteristics of si engine for si engines to avoid the knock to avoid the knock is small bore short ratio of flame path to bore absence of hot surfaces in the last region of the charge and last all of the above so the correct option is all of the above so small bore short ratio of flame path to bore absence of hot surface in the last region of the charge so these all options are the correct options getting so as we know that combustion chamber design is an important activity as it affects the engine performance and its knocking tendency so higher power output higher thermal efficiency smooth engine operation and reduce the exhaust pollutants are the important that considerations are the requirements for the combustion chamber used for the si engines getting so all these design characteristics are very important for the combustion chamber used in si engines 
Now fourth, in SI engines, flame speed increases. In SI engine, flame speed increases. First, with turbulence. Second, with air fail ratio. Third, both A and B, and D, none of the above. So correct option is in SI engine, flame speed increases with turbulence as well as with fuel air ratio. Getting with turbulence as well as with fuel air ratio and the correct option is C both A and B so as we know that the flame speed increases with slightly rich mixture flame speed is increases with slightly rich mixture and the flame speed is directly proportional to the turbulence as turbulence plays important vital role getting turbulence plays important vital role so it directly proportional to the turbulence and as turbulence accelerate the combustion reaction turbulent accelerate the combustion reaction it increases the heat transfer to the valve means it increases the heat transfer coefficient it increases the heat transfer coefficient and that way it increases the pressure getting the pressure is to be rises so flame speed increases with increasing air fail ratio and with turbulence next detonation in si engine will occur due to pre ignition of the charge before spark sudden ignition of the charge before spark auto ignition of the charge after spark is struck and none of the above so the correct option is auto ignition of the charge after the spark is struck getting detonation occurs because auto ignition refers the initiation of the combustion without the necessity of the flame in the absence of flame getting so the end charge of the combustion chamber in the combustion chamber it reaches it going to exceeds it at ignition temperature its self ignition temperature and it remains for ignition time delay period at that at that po position and during which it causes the additional flame and this additional flame is going to flow in opposite to the main flame front getting and this both flame front are collide with each other it moves opposite to the main flame front and that both are collide with each other and it causes the detonation so the correct option is auto ignition of the charge after the spark is struck six increase of pressure increases the self ignition temperature and the ignition and the induction period getting increase of pressure increases the self ignition temperature and the induction period so it is a false getting it is a false increasing pressure is going to decrease the self ignition temperature getting it going to decrease the self ignition temperature as well as it going to decrease the induction period so it is a false so increase in pressure increases self ignition temperature and induction period so the correct option that is this is b false this statement is a false so increase in inlet temperature increases as we know that increase in this pressure increases overall pressure during the cycle and at the higher pressure the end gas decreases the delay period and which increases the tendency to knock then so for our to avoid the detonation to avoid the knocking the high self ignition temperature is important high or longer delay period is important but with increasing pressure it will reduces the delay period and it reduces Same the self ignition temperature of the charge by some hot surface in engine cylinder before operation of spark plug is known as pre ignition sorry it is known as auto ignition pre ignition detonation none of the mention so the correct answer is pre ignition the ignition of the charge by some hot surface in engine cylinder before operation of spark plug is known as pre ignition meaning so as we know that increase in the rate of heat transfer to the valves has yet another effect meaning increase in the rate of heat transfer to the valves has another effect it may cause a lo local overheating especially of the spark plug getting it cause the local overheating of 
different parts in the in the, in the combustion chamber especially the spark plug is there different metal corners are there as well as the exhaust wall is there getting so there are different parts are there especially it going to overheat the sparking plug and pre ignition is nothing but the ignition of homogeneous mixture of charge as it comes in contact with these hot surfaces in the absence of spark getting in the absence of spark so what are the hot surfaces in the engine cylinder so when these hot surfaces are in come in contact with this homogeneous air fuel mixture it causes the pre ignition without the presence of the flame flame is absent next the combustion in spark ignition engine is homogeneous heterogeneous laminar none of the mentioned so the correct option is homogeneous so as we know that in conventional si engine the air fuel mixture is prepared externally in the carburetor so this uniform air fuel mixture is to be supplied to the engine cylinder and hence the combustion is homogeneous combustion is homogeneous so correct option is a homogeneous mind the swirl is rotational flow of charge within the cylinder about the axis so whether this statement is true or false so this statement is true getting statement is true as swirl is a rotational flow within the cylinder about the axis swirl implies an orderly movement of the whole body of air swirl means that is a having ordered movement of the air of the body of the air with particular directions of flow getting with the particular direction of the flow so the swirl is rotational flow of the charge within the cylinder about the axis this statement is true then that it does consist of randomly dispersed vortices of different size which become superimposed into air and petrol mixture flow stream so a turbulence swirl quench area none of them mentioned so the correct answer is turbulence so turbulence consist of randomly dispersed vortices of different sizes which become superimposed into air and petrol mixture flow stream getting so turbulence is very much needed in case of petrol engines so turbulence is required in si engine it implies the disordered air motion with no general direction of flow getting turbulence means disordered motion with no the general directions it is exactly opposite to the swirl swirl is ordered motion with particular direction whereas turbulence is a disordered air motion with no general directions and it break up the surface of flame front and distribute the shreds of this flame front in the combustion chamber throughout the combustion chamber getting so the correct answer is turbulence lm and normal combustion knock produced by the surface ignition in si engine is not harmful as normal combustion knock so this statement is true as the normal combustion is having the high pressure rise compared to the surface ignition like pre ignition or or the surface ignition getting so the comb abnormal combustion due to this surface ignition or pre ignition is less harmful compared to the normal combustion as in the normal combustion the pressure rise is very much high getting compared to this surface ignition twelfth in si engine ignition lag is reduced if the initial temperature and pressure are in si engine the ignition lag is reduced if the initial temperature and pressure are decrease increase constant none of the mention so the correct answer is increase so as we know that by increasing the initial temperature and pressure the combustion temperature increases and when the combustion temperature increases the delay period reduces this ignition lag is reduces correct right. so in si engine ignition lag is reduced if the initial temperature and pressure are increased next low engine speeds will give low turbulence low engine speed will give low turbulence and low flame velocities and knock may occur at low speed so whether this statement is correct or false true or false so the statement is true low engine speeds will give low turbulence and low flame velocities 
and may occur at low speed so statement is true so as we know that turbulence is required in si engine turbulence is very much important in si engine turbulence plays important vital role in si engine so turbulence of the mixture increases with increasing in engine speed turbulence of the mixture increases with increasing the engine speed so flame speed almost increases linearly with the engine speed flame speed also increases linearly with the engine speed turbulence increases directly with the engine speed flame speed linearly increases with the speed for example if the speed is double the flame travel distance is half flame travel distance becomes half in the combustion chamber getting so low engine speed will go give the low turbulence getting because turbulence is directly proportional to the engine speed low flame velocity is also due to the low engine speed because it is linearly proportional with the engine speed so the correct that is a true this statement is a true next use of low octane fuel can eliminate detonation use of low octane fuel can eliminate detonation statement this is a false statement is a false meaning low octane fuel is going to increase the detonation meaning in actual it increase the detonation so as we know that tendency to detonate tendency to knock depends upon the composition of the fuel getting tendency to detonate or knock depends upon the composition of fuel so the property of fuel which describes how fuel will or will not self ignite is called the octane number getting the property of the fuel which describes how fuel will or will not self ignite is known as octane fuel getting so the lower the octane number means it has less tendency to knock lower the octane means less tendency to knock the resistance to knock is a lower in that case getting resistance to knock is a lower higher the octane number then resistance to knock is a higher next the function of quench area in the waste shaped combustion chamber is improve the compression ratio cool the end gas decrease the volume of combustion chamber increase the volume of combustion chamber so the function of quench area is going to cool the end gas it is so quench area that is the additional areas means this waste shaped are going to provide the additional areas in which during the compression stroke the air fuel mixture is to be force air fuel mixture is to be catch in this waste shaped area and this air fuel mixture is becomes the cool in this area it becomes the cool in this area and this waste shaped are these areas are known as the quench area meaning so scavenging process is the replacement of combustion products in the cylinder from previous power stroke with fresh air charge to be burned in the next cycle so this statement is true so what is scavenging scavenging is nothing but the clear the engine cylinder getting so in the scavenging process we are going to replace the combustion products in the cylinder from the previous cycle getting in the previous cycle during the power stroke whatever the combustion products are there they are to be replaced with the fresh charge to be burned in the next cycle so scavenging means clear the engine cylinder the statement is a true 17 so increase the compression ratio in si engines the knocking tendency decreases increases not affected none of the above so the correction is b increases so as we know that in increasing the compression they show increases the temperature and pressure and increasing the pressure and temperature increases the combustion temperature and thereby it reduces the delay period getting it reduces the delay period and the delay reduces is going to increase the knock tendency getting it increases the knock tendency so increasing the compression they show knocking tendency increases next si engines are not generally supercharged engines statement is a true so as we know that in si engines 
the supercharged engines means we are going to increase the pressure at the inlet getting we are going to increase the density of the air at the inlet what happens it going to decrease the delay period getting is the air going to decrease the delay period and decrease the delay period increases the chances of knocking it increases the tendency of knocking and because of that generally it is not the supercharged engines next by making the mixture too lean or too rich tendency of knocking decreases the statement is true getting statement is true so the most important effect of the air fuel ratio is at reaction time is on reaction time or on ignition delay getting so the mixture is too lean or too rich so it directly mean to be effect on the reaction time on the ignition delay getting so when the mixture is slightly rich then the stoichiometric mixture then the delay period is a minimum getting when the mixture is slightly rich then the delay period is a minimum delay period is a lower and it causes the knocking tendency and because of that to avoid the too lean or too rich mixture is to be used getting so by making the mixture leaner or richer the tendency to knock decreases in tendency to knock is to be decrease generally or especially a too rich mixture is to be used getting too rich mixture is to be used to eliminate the knock due to longer delay period and due to lower temperature of compression getting due to lower temperature of compression next decreasing atmospheric humidity decreasing atmosphere humidity the tendency to knock decreases decreasing the atmosphere humidity the tendency to knock decreases statement is true or false so it is a false decreasing the atmosphere humidity the tendency of knock decreases so this statement is a false so as we know that the humidity also plays the important role along with the air fuel ratio along with this composition factor so increasing the atmospheric humidity increasing the atmospheric humidity the tendency to knock getting the tendency to knock by decreasing the reaction time of the fuel getting so if humidity is increases tendency to knock decreases tendency to knock decreases because it decreases the reaction time of the fuel getting it reduces the reaction time of the fuel next large engine size decreases knocking tendency large engine size decreases knocking tendency so again this statement is also false getting large engine size increases the knocking tendency large engine size increases the knocking tendency so as we know that there is a some limitations to use the large size engine in si engine to use the higher compression ratio in si engine so engine with similar design getting engine with the similar design generally runs at same engine speed getting with the same engine speeds but there are some limitations to use the large engines in case of si engine getting because it will going to increase the knocking tendency and because of that there is some limitations with us to use the large size engine in case of si engines getting large engines have greater knocking tendency because again it increases the flame requires the longer time getting as large engine size is this means flame travel distance also more flame travel distance is more time also requires more getting and because of that there is some limitations to use the large size engines and that's why in si engines they are limited to 100 mm they are limited to 100 mm next the quality of petrol fuel is expressed in octane number or certain number api gravity or ace rating so it is expressed in the octane number getting so in case of fuel rating for si engine octane number is to be used for fuel rating or knock resistance octane number that will describes us how fuel will or will not self ignite getting how fuel will or will not self ignite so that will defines the octane 
number. Next, pre ignition is caused by the spontaneous combustion of the mixture before the end of the compression stroke and is due to cylinder walls being too hot, overheated spark plug points, red hot carbon deposits on cylinder walls, or D, any one of the, these. So, the correct answer is any one of these or all of these. Meaning, so as we know that pre ignition is initiated by some overheated or projecting parts, for example, spark plug electrodes, exhaust wall head, metal corners, protruding cylinder head gaskets, etc. Meaning, so these are the different that hot surfaces due to the auto ignition in previous cycles, it becomes these surfaces hot, and because of that the pre ignition is going to be occurs in case of SIN. Next, spark ignition engines fail in order of decreasing knock tendency. Fail in order of decreasing knock tendency. A. Paraffins, aromatics, naphthins. B. Paraffins, naphthins, aromatics. C. Naphthins, paraffins. D. Naphthins, aromatics, paraffins. So, the correct answer is paraffins, naphthins, aromatics. So, paraffin series have maximum tendency to knock Aromatic series is minimum tendency to knock. Naphthins is having in between between these paraffins and aromatics. Naphthin series comes in between the paraffins and aromatics. So next, which fuel has maximum resistance to detonation? Toweling, benzene, isooctane, naphthene. So isooctane is having the maximum resistance to detonation as isooctane having the higher octane number that is 100 octane number having the high higher knocking tendency to the detonation. Next in spark ignition engine supercharging in spark ignition engine supercharging increases knock tendency decreases knocking tendency there is no effect on ten knocking knocking is affected by other factors. So, as we know that in SI engine, SI engines are not generally supercharged engines because by increasing the inlet air pressure, it increases the density of the air and it is going to reduce the delay period, it is going to reduce the ignition lag period and due to which it increases the knocking tendency. So, in SI engines, supercharging increases the knocking tendency. Next, which of the one of the following statement is incorrect? which of the following statement is incorrect combustion is the process of heat liberation combustion is a chemical reaction combustion is a rapid oxidation all of the above so all the these statements are correct next a fuel of octane rating 85 matches the anti knock quality of the mixture consisting of the fuel of octane rating 85 matches the anti knock quality of mixture consists of 85% petrol plus 15% diesel, 15% petrol plus 85% diesel, 85% heptane plus 15% octane, 85% of octane plus 15% of heptane. So, as we know that the octane number is having the mixture of iso octane and n heptane, getting by volume, it is a mixture of iso octane and n heptane. So, the correct answer is 85 percent of octane and 15 percent of heptane. Normal heptane means 85 percent of this octane iso octane and 15 percent of this normal heptane. <coughs> Next, which of the following can have octane rating of more than 100? So, benzol benzol is having octane rating more than 100 as benzol is having the benching when the benching in their composition so it having the more than 100 so these are the different multiple choice questions which are frequently asked the examination in the examination point of view so you can go through this all these MCQs also there are so many other MCQs also we are having with, uh, with us we also go through this 
and attempt the quiz.